Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your Better Together devotion for today. And I want to ask you a question about your prayer life. Have you ever used your prayer to express your anger at God? Why, God? Have you ever done that? More than likely, you probably haven't because somehow, especially for us down here in the South, we just aren't comfortable expressing our anger. We're not comfortable expressing our ugly anger. But today I want to tell you about a form of prayer that calls on us to do exactly that. It's called a lament. Now, there are all kinds of laments found within the Bible. Jesus lamented on the cross when he said, Father, why have you forsaken me? He was quoting Psalm 22. You know, there are these laments within the Bible where, where the Job says, God, where are you in the midst of all my troubles? There's an entire book called Lamentations. Guess what it's all about? Five different laments. God, why did you abandon us? Where are you? You see, the scriptures teach us over and over again that God doesn't want us just when we're pretty. God wants us all the time, including when we're angry, and not just angry, but ugly angry. You know, there's this country song I heard one time that this is, this is not my mother's meltdown. You know, that, that, that I'm not going to do it the way she does, where it's prim and proper and quiet, but I'm going to let all of it out. I'm going to let my hair down. That's the kind of prayer that a lament is. A lament takes those questions that we have about why do bad things happen to good people and why are these evil folks just doing so good and, and, and points them right to heaven and says, God, and shakes our fist. And God wants us to relate to God in this honest the, the, this raw and naked way of saying, God, because when we express laments, we do so from the deepest parts of our soul, where we are showing God all that is, and we're calling God on the carpet and calling God to say, I am God. We're asking God to be God. In a covenant relationship, we're holding God accountable in a lament. Most people don't realize that we're allowed to do this. But when you think about it, who is the largest, biggest person in the whole universe, cosmos, world? It's God. It's Jesus Christ. It's the Holy Spirit. God is far larger and, and grander and more amazing and holy and other than my little feelings no matter how big they feel to me or how huge and overwhelming they contain in my life. If anyone can handle the Hulk's full rage and fury of anger when we Hulk out with our, our emotions, it's God. God who created these emotions to help us understand who we are and to help guide and lead us to where we can be. One of my favorite laments comes from the book of, of Jeremiah, when Jeremiah tells God he wishes he'd never been born and calls God out and says, God, you, you're taking advantage of me. I don't appreciate this. And one of the parts I really love about it is that in that passage of Scripture, Jeremiah comes to this place where he says, and yet, even though I'm so angry with you, God, I'm still going to sing a song of the Lord. Because the thing about laments is that we begin in anger, but like all raw energy, when we show it all over and when we're shoving it as far and high as we can to heaven, eventually that burns out and the embers that are left are beautiful, glowing moments of, of, of repentance and recreation, and sometimes retribution but really, truly, resurrection. God invites us to get angry at God. It's called a lament. And believe it or not, it makes us all better together. This is Pastor Nathan Decker encouraging you, especially if you're going through a really rough time in your life, to lament today. Amen.